everybody. Welcome to baby time. Baby time is so important for two reasons. For bonding with your baby and for developing language skills. And language skills are the crucial precursor to reading. So, at baby time we would normally start with sort of a less active song and then get more and more active. But of course you should always just temper your pace and your tone and your energy level with the mood of your baby. So it should really depend on the mood of your baby, how, how fast and how active you make the song. But we'll start with gentler ones first and get more and more active as we go on. So normally we would sort of start with a hello song, but you can do this one too with just the one. This is Henry. So of course always substitute Henry's name with your own baby's name. Let's all bounce cause Henry's here, Henry's here, Henry's here. Let's all bounce cause Henry's here, Henry's here today. Let's all clap cause Henry's here, Henry's here, Henry's here. Let's all clap cause Henry's here, Henry's here today. All right, a nice gentle one. You can keep going with that one. You can change the words around. You can always change the words to whatever you want. It's just learning these nice tunes. Um, it's a really nice uh, catchy tune and catchy language will make the baby focus more on what you're saying and will build those language connections in their brain. Okay, so a little more of an active song is I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 clap. I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my arms with a flap, 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 flap. I wake up my arms with a flap, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my feet with a stomp, 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 stomp. I wake up my feet with a stomp, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my belly with a poke, 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 a poke, 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 a poke, poke, poke. I wake up my belly with a poke, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my body with a sway, 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 a sway, 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 a sway, sway, sway. I wake up my body with a sway, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. All right, um, and I forgot to say, it's always better to have them facing you if you can, um, because learning language means learning that language comes from your mouth, um, that the different sounds are related to the way your mouth is moving, all those things. All right, a little more active one, and this is a tune you probably know, and I'm warning you, it's a very catchy tune. As soon as I read the title the other day, it was in my brain all evening, uh, but, it's, but it's great for that reason. And you can do it when you're dressing your baby, undressing your baby, multiple times during the day, and you can change the words so much too, depending on the piece of clothing. So this one is baby put your pants on. So I like to hold up the piece of clothing. Uh, baby put your pants on, pants on, pants on. Baby put your pants on, one, two, three. Baby put your pants on, pants on, pants on. Baby put your pants on, one, two, three. Leg to the left, leg to the right. Wiggle and jiggle and pull them on tight. Leg to the left, leg to the right. Wiggle and jiggle and pull them on tight. Baby, put your shirt on, shirt on, shirt on. Baby, put your shirt on, one, two, three. Baby, put your shirt on, shirt on, shirt on. Baby, put your shirt on, one, two, three. Arm to the left, arm to the right. Wiggle and jiggle and pull it on tight. Arm to the left, arm to the right. Wiggle and jiggle and pull it on tight. So of course, socks, hats, everything. It's a great one. 
All right, I'm going to talk about some books now. And you may think, oh, my baby's too young for books. But already by six months, your baby's vision is fully developed. So as early as six months, books are great, but books are great anytime. And that's for two reasons, because pre-reading skills also involve like teaching your baby to sort of focus in and pay attention to something. So these, so great baby books will have bright colors like this to make it easier for baby to focus on. Um, the second reason, which is a bigger reason, I think, for using books with babies is it just gives you more to talk about. And basically the more you talk to your baby, the better. The more your baby hears your voice and hears language, the more those brain connections are developing and getting them ready to read later. So um, great baby books are, if you just look at author Karen Katz, who wrote both of these, she does everything right. Uh, a great baby book will have bright colors, bright primary eye-catching colors. A great baby book will also have familiar things to look at. So what is more familiar than a baby to your baby than uh, parents' faces, uh, ba other babies' faces? household things, almost um, real size faces. Also, uh, another good thing about a good baby book is that the language is nice to listen to. So it has a nice rhythm, uh, lovely sounds put together, just again, to capture baby's attention. And so her brain is developing connections to hear the different sounds and language. So listen to the lovely language in this one. And again, the more you can have your baby facing you, the better, so she can see your mouth and see the book. Um, oh, another great thing about a good baby book is it encourages interaction. So her books say, they're gonna to say to tickle the baby and to point out parts of the baby's body. Um, it's also going to have a conversational tone, um, like asking a question and then a pause and all of these things. The, your baby is absorbing. So, good morning, little baby. It's time to greet the day. One little tickle on a lovely sleepy head. See the nice rhythm of the language. And then you can tickle your baby's head. So encouraging interaction. Two kitty tickles on chunky, spunky ears, lovely language sounds. And you can tickle the ear. And the adorable pictures. Three silly tickles on a soft, pudgy chin. Four dainty tickles over wiggly, wet hands. And then I'll just show you another book. Karen Katz is the author again. Again, almost life-size faces, so something baby's very familiar with is your face up close. And the interaction, the conversational tone, you ask a question, you pause for a bit, all of these things the baby's absorbing. Where are baby's eyes? And you can interact with your baby and you can also, whoa, lift the flap under her hat. Where is baby's mouth? And pretty soon your baby will even touch your mouth and grab at the flap behind the cup. Where is baby's belly button? Under her shirt. So just a perfect example of good baby board books. All right. So we can, ch I'm going to do a goodbye song, but we can totally change the words so it's not a goodbye song. We're not really saying goodbye. So it's to the, the tune of the goodbye train is leaving, see you soon. But I thought you could change the words and you can change the words to any of these songs. And of course, put your baby's name in there anytime you can. So instead of the goodbye train is leaving, see you soon, I'm going to say, Dinner time is coming, aren't you glad? Clap, clap. Dinner time is coming, aren't you glad? Clap, clap. Oh, dinner time is coming. 
Dinner time is coming. Dinner time is coming. Aren't you glad? Clap, clap. Breakfast time is coming. Aren't you glad? Poke, poke. Breakfast time is coming. Aren't you glad? Poke, poke. Breakfast time is coming. Breakfast time is coming. Breakfast time is coming. Aren't you glad? Poke, poke. Oh, lunch time is coming. Aren't you glad? High five. Lunch time is coming. Aren't you glad? High five. Lunch time is coming. Lunch time is coming. Lunch time is coming. Aren't you glad? High five. All right. Goodbye for now, everybody, and I hope you tune in to Baby Times every Tuesday at 1030 on our Storytime Corner Facebook page. Thank you for tuning in. Say bye, Henry.